Spark! Spark! Come in, Mr. Spark! Ah, bless this communicator! He's not answering! Sorry, Lady Helena, I can't find your son. If you left Spark with Vanitas, he's no doubt in the central spire. It's shielded against electrical interference, so communicators are useless. That spire is where we must go, but the only way to get inside is from the Citadel proper. No doubt the Viceroy will rally the Justicaria against us. I'll see if I can find the Praetor and convince her of what's happening. I'll scout ahead and contact you with any threats. Maybe this communicator is at least good for that. Hopefully, we'll encounter less resistance than if we returned via the route they expected. But let us be cautious, wizard. Vanitas warned us subversives might try to sneak into the city through one of these docks. We are not subversives. I am Lady Helena Verga, once Praetor of the Justicaria. And this is... the Wizard. They're not bad. Impossible! She fell to her own husband's treason. Whoever you really are, you'll go no further. Wizard, watch out. I saw some Nimbari guards head your way. <sighs> Thanks, pig.
If we keep to these courtyards, they'll loop us around the spire and into the citadel. Careful. Someone must have heard that fight. Elite forces are moving to intercept you. Wizard, you're the subversive? Vanitas is the subversive. Your orders are subversive. Vanitas is in league with non-Empyrean agents, trafficking in our fears and technology. And your proof? I see you have none. Then I'm sorry. We fought together, wizard. We captured the bat. But you do travel with traitor Karis' son. You wield the forbidden magic. And I have my orders.
The Praetor's up ahead with a platoon of exemplars. Just surrender. Nimbari, don't surrender, Captain. You forget. As I had forgotten, we are the light that pierces the darkness, and light cannot be destroyed. But it can be drowned. Quickly, wizard. The exit to the Citadel is just down here. Uh, guys, I think they're on us. What are you waiting for, Praetor? Destroy them! Ma'am, you can't. As I said, that is Lady Helena Verga, alive and well. She saved me from the ambush he arranged. I know who she is, but orders are orders, Justicar. But who gives those orders? Not the Vice Reign. She stays conspicuously silent. Has she nothing to say? Yes! What does the Vice Reign say? She... she says, destroy them. The wizard, the pig, the outcast, and the dissident Justicar. Destroy them all. No! She speaks with the serpent's tongue. Can you not all see this is wrong? I will not take arms against a praetor at his behest. Who's with me? Traitors! Deserters! Will none of you keep your oaths? Fine. I will deal with this myself.
chose the wrong side, Drusilla. I sincerely hope you're right. I'll take command of things out. Now at last, I will be reunited with my son. The balcony Vanitas spoke from connects to his private wing in the spire. No doubt that is where he has spark. Pig, you stand guard out here. Shouldn't I come with you? Do we even know what kind of defenses are waiting inside? The automated kind. Justicars aren't permitted in the private wings, so dwarven robots are used for security. Nothing we can't handle. Okay then, I'll use my undeniable charms to win any remaining hostile Justicars to our side. Good luck. If that's your plan, you'll need it more than we will. Come on, wizard. to approach the vice reign. Submit yourself for merciful execution. Ha! <laughs> Robots.
Vice Rain, I haven't seen you since you proclaimed my husband a traitor, then bent the knee to that snake, Vanitas. We bow to no one, Helena, but look what's happened. Myth monsters, Xanadu, the Dark Cloud, the Athenor Chain, the prophesized war has come! So you had Vanitas build a storm cannon to win it for you? More than that, he converted the entire citadel into a cannon. It uses the turbine mirrors to aim and fire a beam of raw energy. But that kind of power could drill a hole through a mountain. That's madness! That's security. Necessary security in these dark days. So we gave Vanitas anything he asked. But perhaps we let our fear drive us too far. I never knew she was so weak-hearted. Come, wizard, let's find Vanitas before his vile plan comes to fruition. Lord Vanitas, I did not help you construct a new spiral arc to store your artwork. We're supposed to be preparing for a potential evacuation. Oh, shut up, boy. I'm busy here. Blasted robot, hurry up and pack my Penguona Lisa. They'll be here soon. Don't you dare tell my son to shut up, creature! Your... son? Mother? Fascinating. No! How many diversions must I throw in your path? Robots, deal with these intruders!
Believe me, I am your mother. Much of what you've been told is a lie. I was not lost, and your father was never a traitor. But Vanitas is. Yes, I know. He was altogether too genial to me relative to other Nimbari. So naturally, I suspected treachery. That's my boy. But why was he so interested in you in the first place? He casually cast our family aside years ago. Because I finished the Spiral Arc. The ship intended to shield the Cabal from the end of the spiral. He had me complete another. It is moored atop this very tower now. But, given my aforementioned suspicions of Vanitas's treachery, I felt it prudent to sabotage the vessel. So Vanitas... This is not how things are going to end. Not after all this time, all this work. Before I vent years of repressed frustration, I need to know why. Why betray your friends, your people, the cause of Grandmother Raven herself? Because she lied to us, threw us in a prison, and called it a mission. She robbed us of the spiral by burying us in the ether. Do you even know what that is? It's not a shield, not a light to be worshipped. It's rage, the metaphysical remnant of Raven's war with Spider. She buried us in the ashes of a dead quarrel. So when the Cabal offered the chance to rebuild the world lost in that war, how could I refuse? Alas, they too put their faith in a divinity. They believe Spider will restore the first world. I'm not so trusting. Hence my new spiral arc. Maybe Spider keeps to his word and restores the first world, but if he doesn't, I'll be safe. Either way, I win, you lose.
over, worm. You can't escape. Your ship doesn't even fly. Now, tell us why you and the Admiral converted the Citadel into a storm cannon. Heard about that, huh? That little earmark kept me in contracts and riches for years. I suppose I should be happy someone found a use for it. And such a devious use. The Admiral may be mad, foul, and likely not even a real Admiral, but he's made a clever friend. Enough fawning! What is he planning to do with the Storm Cannon? He's going to free the Chaos Heart and return it to Grandfather Spider. Then you're going to give us access to the control room so we can stop him. Wizard, find Spark and Pork and meet me there. Wizard, there you are. Helena's making Thanatus open the way to the main storm cannon control room. Spark, meanwhile, has been explaining why he left me at the mercy of the villainous Cabal. As I said, I was confident in the wizard's proficiency, and it was more strategically sound for me to monitor Vanitas's dubious intentions. Enough of your fancy nimbari verbiage, Spark. <laughs> I was only joking. You did well, but now the wizard needs your help. Go with them, and use your technical expertise to disable the Admiral's storm cannon. I'll stay here to help Helena keep an eye on Vanitas. If you say so, Captain. Wizard, it looks as though my mother has opened the way for us. I'll follow your lead. Good timing, Wizard. This slug was about to tell me how the Admiral intends to free the Chaos Heart from its indestructible paradox chains. Indestructible, save the touch of the Raven Child, or her luminiferous essence. But we had neither, so Spider gave the Admiral a new plan. Spider can't break the chains, but they're moored to places our cannon can destroy. Blow up the temples of light, the heart falls free. <laughs> That's the plan? Scare the Vicerine into building this cannon, then destroy Numaya and its temple of light to sever our chain of myth and storm? You see why I was eager to leave. That is a truly illogical plan, bordering on mental instability. Wizard, we must stop the Admiral at once or everything is lost. 